Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we are going to be doing some cozy building. So ever since the Modern Lux kit came out, I've been wanting to build a house kind of surrounding the kit a little bit. I just think it's a really good kit and it inspired me to build an entire house. The kit didn't come with very many items, but I tried to incorporate as many as I could in this build. We are building a modern three bedroom house. The exterior is very modern, but the inside is very girly. What I had in mind when I built it was like a roommate's pad. One bedroom is super for a super creative sim. The other bedroom is for like an athletic sim and then the last bedroom is more for like a renaissance bookworm like smart kind of sim it has a beautiful pool in the backyard a huge kitchen i had so much fun building this it's actually a speed build so i'm just gonna like talk while the speed build runs i hope that you guys enjoy i'm having a super lazy sunday i am like very chill right now um, but I did want to get this video up, so let's go ahead and get into it, shall we? I'm just sipping on a strawberry lemonade today. Like I said, having a chill day, so I'm not having an energy drink, but <laughs> cheers anyways. All right, guys, so we are building in Tartosa today. I love Tartosa. I have been playing in it a lot lately, actually, and building in it. I just think the world is so beautiful. I know that the wedding pack is super... <laughs> super glitched at least for me like weddings just don't work ever in my favor there's always something wrong um but i have to say i love the world i think that the world is worth getting the pack for so yeah like i said we're building this like three bedroom super modern house i wanted to build the house around the backyard area which i never do so i started with the backyard we're doing this like super awesome roofless situation um I'm terrible at roofing, so doing this like half wall roof is my definite go-to for <laughs> almost all of my builds. And then we're doing this like fence trick for a pergola. Um, so there's like an upper balcony as well as a lower balcony. The house has three bedrooms, one, two, three bathroom. And then that like column thing you see on the roof right there on the deck. Um, that could be a bathroom as well. It could be whatever you want. I didn't really put anything in there. I just kind of wanted to leave it open to whatever, uh, if you do use this build, whatever you want it to be for. Yeah, we're going for like really pastel -y, like feminine colors and features. There's lots of bright colors inside. There's lots of plants. Uh, there will be at least. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? I was going to say something important, but I totally forgot. Perfect. I'm really bad at exteriors to be honest like I kind of like surprised myself with this like floor plans and like building the actual shell of the house is not my strong suit so I usually always download a shell from the gallery but <laughs> uh, this time I decided to go for it because practice makes perfect right guys so we're moving on to the kitchen the kitchen is like the first thing that you see when you walk in it's like a big open kitchen dining room area situation there's gonna be a pantry like a walk-in pantry I've been really like doing that um, for my builds lately to hide like all of like the ugly small appliances because I'm not really big on clutter so I want to put all the clutter in the pantry which is what we're doing here I originally wanted a yellow kitchen but I just didn't like it so we're going for blue blues and pinks in here um, also I am not using CC in this build and I'm a huge CC user <laughs> I guess yeah user <laughs> Um, but I wanted you guys to be able to download this if you wanted it and not have anything missing. Um, I did not restrict my pack, pack usage though, um, but that's okay. You guys can always uh, replace those things if you need to. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like used all the packs and I just tried to build this without any CC. And trust me, I was struggling very, very much because I'm very reliant on a lot of my CC stuff, especially like counters and couches and things like that. But with all the new packs that are coming out, there's actually some really cute stuff now. So I was very satisfied with how this build came out, to be honest. So the counters, as you can see here, are wrapping around into the pantry. I thought that looked pretty cool. So I put like a microwave in there, a popcorn machine. Um these growing together lamps I'm obsessed with the growing together like stools I'm obsessed with oh my gosh like I I try not to use those stools in every single kitchen that I build but it's very hard <laughs> they're beautiful they are growing together right I don't know yeah they are I think I'm pretty sure as long uh, as well as the fridge and the stove those are also growing together I thought that the kitchen stuff that came with that pack top tier top tier <laughs> I'm gonna be using this really fancy walkway as well 
I don't remember what pack it's from. Is that Growing Together too? Oh my gosh, maybe this is a Growing Together video instead of a Modern Lux kit video. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I end up using the chairs from the Modern Lux kit for this dining table. They are so cute. Like look at them and the swatches that they come in are so adorable. Like just honestly perfect for this type of build. This rug as well is from um, Growing Together. That round one was from Modern Lux, but we're gonna be using that in the living room. Um, so yeah, I actually <laughs> made the three Sims uh, I was, after I built this, I was like, man, I really want to, like, make some sims that fit the, the bill for this build. <laughs> so I made a creative sim, I made an active sim, and I made, like, a smart, studious sim. And I moved them in, and I was playtesting the house a little bit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys the tour with the girls moved in so that you can actually, like, see them wandering around the house and stuff. I feel like it just, it just, I don't know. It's just different like that. I love this little like doorway area with the little poofs under the table. So cute. I see that so much in a lot of like interior design. Um, so this side is going to be a small office, like a kind of shared computer. The girls, do they have their own computers? Actually, I don't think so. So they all share this computer, but you can always put like a laptop in your Sims inventory. I always forget that you can do that and they can just like whip it out whenever they need it and if they need a computer, like, it's just always on them, you know? I jump around in this build a lot too. Like, I was working on the office and then I got over it, so I went and moved to the living room. Sorry, there's hammering outside. I was trying to decide which of these couches I wanted to use. A lot of these couches look very similar in Swatch, so I was having a hard time choosing one, but I think we end up using the ones from this is, oh my gosh, I don't even know where those couches are from. I'm pretty sure they're Modern Lux though. I tried to use all of the Modern Lux stuff in this living room. Those pillows, the record player, the bookshelf, the TV is so cool. It looks like a frame, framed photo, framed poster when it's off and then when it's on, it turns into a TV. So it's not like this big eyesore, you know? <laughs> um, I have a CC one of those and I love it. So I'm so stoked that there's one in the actual game now. The shelves are from the pack. I wanna say this, that lamp is from the pack. Uh, those end tables, uh, I don't remember where those end tables are from, but I don't think it's Modern Lux, but they went perfectly in here. Um, so yeah, this living room is like super soft, super like cute and feminine and I don't know. I was just like really uh, satisfied with how it came out. So I, I, I'm looking down because I'm looking at my laptop as the video plays. Um, it's just easier for me to do voiceovers like this. And then this area by the window, I don't know. I just did like a little seating area with some books, like a little mini library, you know. I uh, was toying around with a, a teapot to put in that area, but I think I ended up going for uh, like a little tray with a candle and stuff on it. I can't remember actually. What did I end up using right here? Ah, yes, that little tray. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's like a little candle and a little plant on there. Um, and I use these curtains from uh, high school years a lot in this house. I just felt like they fit the vibe so well. So yeah, you're gonna be seeing those a lot. <laughs> I end up adding a bathroom on the lower floor later on because I realized there wasn't one on the lower floor like as I was furnishing upstairs. I always do that. I always forget the bathroom. I always forget like a trash can. I'm pretty sure I add the trash can in the kitchen like at the end of this video. <laughs> but yeah, I thought the little bike under the stairs was cute, a little backpack. Um, I don't know. I just feel like this would be for like college students maybe, this house very wealthy college students, but <laughs> I didn't want to like restrict myself with a budget or anything like that. So yeah, here's where I do the upstairs floor plan. Um, I add that bathroom there and then I add another bathroom on like the master bedroom. And then I realized, wait, there's no bathroom downstairs. So we're probably gonna head back downstairs in a minute. I've been really liking measuring out my rooms with beds. Um, I see a lot of builders on YouTube do that. Um, just to like estimate how big you want the room you just throw like a random bed in there and then you can like really feel like how big the room is because it's kind of hard to eyeball it sometimes 
So yeah, here's where I throw in that, that bathroom. Um, I don't really show the building of the bathrooms because I don't know, bathrooms can be fun to like watch being built, but for the most part, they're all pretty standard and the same. So I uh, forward through this one. I completely skip one of them upstairs. And then the one that I actually show you is the master bath because we do this like pretty cool walk-in shower situation. Um, yeah, I kind of like took inspiration from um, one of the bathrooms at uh, my parents' house. The master bath has this like really epic walk-in shower, like double heads situation, you know? Um, so I kind of like made it exactly like that, but I only put one head on this one. It's really hard to come up with new, like unique ideas for bathrooms. I feel like I always make the same design and things like that. So I was just trying to like branch out a little here, make a nice huge shower for whoever gets the master bedroom. Uh, yeah. So, uh, if you haven't watched any of my other videos, it's nice to meet you, I'm Sav. I uh, just moved to Colorado from California. I just wanted like a quick change of pace, you know? I wanted to experience something different because I had never lived anywhere except for California. I was born there, I went to college there. Um, so, when the opportunity arose for me to move here, I took it. And uh, I've been here since July, so it's, wow, time is really flying. It's already October, holy cannoli. Where, where, where does time go, for real? Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying my time here. I don't regret coming here at all. It's been great. So here I'm just like placing the beds, eyeballing where I want them to go. With these huge windows, it's kind of hard to, uh, you know, arrange the room in a, good way <laughs> so this first bedroom that we're working on is for our creative sim we use like a lot of bright colors it's very warm in there i put an easel i put a guitar i put a lot of art on the walls um it's just like a very like eclectic feeling kind of room i love this freaking stacked suitcase and table vibe <laughs> If you have like really nice suitcases, you should totally use them as a table instead of just like storing them in a closet or something. I think that's awesome. So yeah, this sim um, is musical. This sim is just creative in all aspects. I put like a knitting basket in there. Um, one of those bracelet maker boxes from Growing Together as well. Uh, there's those curtains again. I just think they look so good in here. Um, this is my favorite bedroom by far. Um, like if I lived in this house, this is the bedroom that I would choose absolutely for sure. Cause I'm not really like an active girly and I don't really read that often. So I think art and creative things is definitely my thing. You're gonna, after you watch this video, let me know in the comments which bedroom you would like and why. I think that would be fun. So yeah, I'm just adding a bunch of like art on the walls, doing a little like mini gallery wall here. I love the little, um, uh, what do you call that? Protest signs. I love using those as art. I think they're so cute. I want. I kind of want to put like a painted sign in my house somewhere. It's been really cool decorating this house that I moved into because I decorate in The Sims all the time and like being able to do it in real life is so crazy. <laughs> it's so crazy. I like, we're renting this house and like when I lived in my parents' house for a long time and then I moved to two different apartments while I was in college. They were smaller apartments and now we're in a three three bedroom house plus a loft so there's a lot of room a lot of space for me to decorate <laughs> uh it's pretty fun i've been enjoying it so this is the active girlies bedroom she's super colorful super out there i don't know maybe she's like a fitness influencer or something like that those are the vibes that i get from her but using a lot of the stuff from the pastel pop kit, this bed I think is high school years. I'm honestly not sure, but I think I layer some curtains here, which I really liked. I thought that looked cool. So in this room, we're gonna have a yoga mat, a punching bag, a little TV to do workout videos on. <laughs> I also put like a floor to length mirror in here because I know that like, 
a lot of fitness people like to watch themselves work out. I think it's like to make sure your form is correct. I'm not really sure, but just trying to figure out where I want to put the dresser in this room. Um, but I want the star of the show to be the workout stuff, definitely. And I love this lava lamp and also that, that cute little lamp on the floor that plays music as well. I love those items so much. I can't remember what packs they're from right now, but yeah, they really make the room feel, you know, more vibey. Like, if you click on a light fixture in The Sims, you can change the color and the brightness of it. And that's a real game changer, especially if you're trying to like convey an emotion, you know? <laughs> I've been doing that a lot. I even do it in real life. Like I got a bunch of like color changing bulbs for all of our light fixtures. And it's just like, like our guest bathroom is pink. Like the light is pink in there. <laughs> it's just fun. I don't know. So this is the master bed. This is for our smart sim. Uh, we're, I'm just gonna put a lot of books everywhere. Uh, this is the only room with a vanity. It just feels really luxurious in here. Um, kind of like clean girl aesthetic, I guess. So I wanted like her to have a vanity. And then, um, what else do I put in? Oh, a chess table with one chair. Like she sits there and ponders her chess moves all day. <laughs> like Queen's Gambit kind of vibes. Um, it does feel a little bit 50s in here now that I think about it. I love it. I love this room so much. That rug from Cottage Living, it has me in a chokehold, as well as the rug from Werewolves that's all like tattered. And then these sconces from Growing Together are also my favorite. At the end of this hallway, I'm just kind of putting like a plant and more books and like somewhere to sit. I didn't really know what to put in here, but I didn't want it to be blank. So I did what I do best and I made a, I don't even know what these are called, hall table, accent table, whatever. <laughs> Oh, uh, these cute pictures from Pastel Pup and then this hanging plant from Paranormal. It's my favorite. Back downstairs, we are working on this bar area. I had no idea what to put here. So I was like, you know what? Let's just throw like a cute little bar situation down here. And like, I was so over using curtains. So I ended up using these sticks from Eco Lifestyle, which I think look pretty cool. I think I do them in like, yeah, light, light brown. They kind of look pink actually in here, but yeah, it's really cute. I love this little area. Um, just like a place to like sit and chat and like entertain and things like that. And I really wanted to use the aquarium, but I couldn't find a spot for it. So I ended up uh, putting a uh, like a amp instead on this wall right here. I thought it looked really cute. Yeah, and I think that was it for the inside. I think we move outside after this and work on the pool area, which was pretty straightforward. Um, I just put like a couple of like sun chairs, a jacuzzi, a bonfire pit. Oh, right, I'm cluttering up the pantry right now. Yeah, I'm putting a little cooler and then a picnic basket, like things that like you use, but you don't really want like out in the open. So you just store them in the pantry. It's just really, really nice to have. I can't like build a house without it now. I'm always like, oh wait, I forgot a pantry. I need to add a pantry. And here I am finally adding the trash cans as well. Crazy. Trash cans should not be an afterthought, but here we are. Oh man, this is good. This is a Simply Strawberry Lemonade. It's really fire, guys. I like to put a splash of sparkling water in it because I like carbonated drinks a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, also, I put that like tile at the bottom of the pool. I think it makes it look so much cuter. If you didn't know, you could put wallpaper and tile inside of pools and it's really dope. So there's our jacuzzi, our bonfire pit, all kinds of chill spots in this house. And then I begin landscaping. This is <laughs> not my strong suit, so bear with me while I uh, wiggle my way through this. <laughs> I really need to practice more. I'm definitely getting better, but it's it takes me a while. It takes me a long time. Like I stream on Twitch and whenever we build on Twitch, I'm just like, I just kind of want to do the exterior like off camera and we can furnish the house together. But yeah, it's just kind of painful. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> Oh man, I have this like CC welcome mat that I always use. It says welcome on it in Simlish and I couldn't use it and I was so sad. So I opted for this one. You could barely see it. I don't even know why I put it there, but hey, here we are. 
And I thought I was done here, but then I was like, oh wait, I totally forgot to furnish the upper balcony. So up here, we have just like a little seating area and then we're also gonna do uh, the, from the Blooming, no, is it the Blooming Rooms kit? I think it's the Blooming Rooms kit that came with all that gardening stuff. We're just gonna put like a ton of plants out here and then the gardening table, some pots, you know, things like that, things to take care of your plants. And that's that one room that I was talking about where it could be a bathroom a storage area, like whatever your little heart desires if you decide to download this. My gallery ID is SimSav. It'll be up and ready for you. Um, but yeah, here's all the cute um, blooming, is it blooming rooms? No, 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 no. It's the greenhouse kit. My bad, greenhouse kit. Um, and then I put like another lounger up here too, cause why not, you know? Everyone loves a good lounger. <laughs> Oh man, I think that's it. I think that that is the end of the build. So let's hop into the game and I will show you guys the final tour. Okay guys, here we are in beautiful Tartosa. Like, are you kidding me right now? It is so pretty, um, but it's nighttime right now, but that's okay. We're gonna do a little nighttime tour. I love the outside. I actually think it's really cute. It's very simple, but I'm a fan. Uh, so let's head on inside and see what these girls are up to. Like I said, I made the Sims. I gave them traits that fit their rooms and all that. Looks like they were uh, just in the pool. I actually saw their mood lids and it looked like two of them had just woohooed in the hot tub, so. Um, but here is the what you see when you first walk in. We got dining room vibes, kitchen. I absolutely love this kitchen. I think it turned out really cute. I love the wallpaper. I know that that's a fire hazard with this shelf being right above the stove, but it's okay. It's fine. We got a, we got a fire. Why do I always want to call it a fire extinguisher? A fire alarm. <laughs> all right. Our pantry. All right. All right. What are you, what are you eating? Shish kebabs and popcorn. Hell yeah. She's using the popcorn machine. That's what's up. So I think we should go out into the back first. So we have this door goes out here. It always rains in Tartosa. That's one thing that I find very weird about this pack because like you're supposed to get married here, right? It's the mar it's the wedding world, but it's always raining. <laughs> I don't know if that was like something that they thought would be funny, but yeah. So there's the tiled pool, which I like. I think it gives it like a cute, a cute touch. Our little area for chilling. I put some candles in the hot tub. I think that's adorable. So it's just like, it's just so gorgeous here. I don't know, there's like waterfalls, there's a beach. Um, we got some vertical planters. All right, let's head back inside. So through here, sorry, I'm really, really bad with the tab camera, I noticed. I'm like really wiggly with it. <laughs> but here is the little office area. I think we, I might need to put some art there. It's a little looking a little blank, but here's the first bathroom. Very cute. Over here, we have the bar area. I made the windows purple for a nice little touch. Um, that's our fitness girly. I don't know if you can tell, but she's like buff. Is she, are you gonna make a protein shake? No? Okay, cool. <laughs> Living room, it's just so cute and like girly and it just feels really like fun in here. I'm a, I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan. Alrighty, up the stairs we go, baby. Here we go, here we go. So this is our hallway situation. This is the bathroom that I decided not to show in the build cause like, I don't know, it was a little bit boring, but it's cute in here. This is our first, uh-oh, someone's struggling. <laughs> our first bedroom. Oh, good morning. This is our creative girl. Um, It looks like she was just asleep, but she's gotta go pee now, but Oh my gosh, I love it in here. Oh, it's so cute. I'm having second thoughts about this wallpaper. I'm a big fan of accent walls, so I always try to put an accent wall in like every room, but yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it in here a lot. Very nice view too. Ooh, yeah, it's really cute in here. I like it, I like the way it turned out. I hope that you guys like it too. Again, let me know which room you like the best, which room you would wanna live in. Oh, so out here we have our little deck with our seating area and our plant situation. Where are you off to? Are you gonna go fix that broken... Aw, oh, look at you. I don't understand. I thought this was an outdoor stereo, but it breaks every time it rains. Is there any outdoor stereo that doesn't break in the rain? Let me know. <laughs> 
I guess we could always upgrade this to be non-breakable, but it's just like a whole thing. That's our smart girly, our renaissance girl. She likes books and things like that. Um, oh, uh, I think I made her neat. So she's just like cleaning a brand new house, which is funny. Did someone already put a book on the floor? Or that's an iPad. Okay, cool. <laughs> this is our active girl room. It's so bright and fun in here. She's sleeping. Oh, I just love it. I love it so much. I got the vibe that she was the type to like sit on the floor and do her makeup. So she's got her makeup here. She's gonna sit in front of the mirror and do it there. But yeah, all of her active uh, things. Super cute. <laughs> And then over here, we've got her room. Um, yeah, just like Renaissance Sim vibes. You know what I mean? She just wants to learn everything, read everything. She's neat. Um, yeah, this is also the only room with a closet and a vanity. And it's like own bathroom, like en suite. It's a little bit uh, too white in here <laughs> now that I'm looking at it, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. I would love to have this shower, are you kidding me? Yeah guys, that is everything. You can like edit this however you want. Like I said, it has no CC. Yeah, it's just a fun, cute little house for a couple of roommates. Um, it could also be, I mean, this could also be a master bedroom as well. It'll be on the gallery under the hashtag SimSav and also my gallery ID is SimSav if you want to check out any of my other builds. This was honestly so fun. I hope that you guys enjoy these like kind of low key videos for me. I love you so much. If you want more Sims content, I have so much on my channel. If you want to go check it out, that'd be awesome. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you. Bye.